What is going on everybody? My name is Invader Nim, and welcome to the channel where we do gun reviews and we give every gun in Destiny 2 a chance. Today we're going to be talking about the 7th Seraph SMG. This gun is absolutely amazing and it's one of my current favorite guns in the game. But first, I'm going to tell you why. But first, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. We talk about guns new and old, meta or not. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the perks of this weapon. Before we get started with the perks, I want to talk about the aesthetic of this weapon. First of all, the little red wires right there on the side, they bounce when you walk. It's the small details that get me, guys. I'm sorry. This weapon just looks absolutely beautiful with this shader on. Mmm. God, what a gorgeous weapon. Anyway, guys, we're nerding out. We're nerding out. Let's let's get straight to the perks. I'm sorry. All right. First perk of the day, we got fluted barrel, which is an ultra light barrel. Greatly increases handling speed and slightly increases stability. Now, all my fellow console players out there, we're not like the PC. We don't have buttery smooth SMGs. All right. So listen, when building any kind of weapon whatsoever that has a fast fire rate, you're going to want to look for that stability. If you guys can get some good rolls with the stability, you guys are going to be set in motion. This is an absolute great perk to have, and you will not be disappointed with this one. Alright, next up on the list, we also had Hammer Forged Rifling. This perk I don't recommend as much as it is going to increase your range. You don't really need to worry about the range on this SMG. You don't need to worry about the range, especially on console. Now, for the PC players, range is your best friend. Go for it. This is a good perk for you guys. But for my console players, you guys want that stability. Stick with the fluted barrel. That's what you guys are going to want. Moving on, we have accurized rounds. This weapon can be fired longer distances. Now, this is going to increase your range just a little bit. Um... Accurized rounds is good, although, like I said, we don't really need the range on the PC, or I'm sorry, on the console too much. Yes, range comes in handy, okay? Range comes in handy, but if you want range, just use an auto rifle, alright? On an SMG, you want to get that as stable as you can. SMGs like to kick. Anyway guys, let's move on to the next perk. I do recommend this perk if you want to add a little bit of range on the console. If not, if you want to go for more stability, try to get a roll that just has even more stability. Try to max out that stability, make it as smooth as possible. Moving on to the next perk, we have Flared Magwell. Now this is going to greatly increase your reload speed while slightly increasing your stability. Now, I went with Accurized Rounds over the Flared Magwell just because putting the Flared Magwell on, I noticed that the stability didn't really get that much it didn't really benefit from it that much. It wasn't really noticeable, so I stuck with the Accurized Round just to get a tiny little bit more range from that. Fired Magwell's not a bad choice, but it's also not the best choice. I prefer the Accurized Rounds, and I think you guys will too. Moving on to the next perk, we have Firmly Planted. This is going to increase your accuracy, stability, and handling when fired when crouched. Now, this is a great perk, but not a lot of people crouch. I crouch a lot as a hunter. I will notice I like to sneak and crouch a lot, so this benefits me a lot as a hunter. This is a great perk, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. Next up, we have Elemental Capacitor, which is going to increase your stats depending on your class, sub like subclass. So if you're running solar, you got increased reload speed. Arc, increased handling. Now I typically main top tree tether. I like to be invisible, I like to be sneaky as my hunter. So I'm running void with increased stability. This helps tremendously. So if you get this roll, I highly recommend you guys run a void subclass, especially in Crucible. This thing is going to not disappoint. The stability is absolutely insane. This thing is smooth like butter. Moving on to the last perk of the day, we have Dragonfly, which precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. 
Dragonfly is good, but it's not my preferred perk. Like I said, I'd rather just have that extra stability. So we're going to run with the Elemental Capacitor. This is the absolute best choice you could have. Period. Um, I would not recommend any other perk over it. Elemental Capacitor all day long. Next up, we have a Stability Masterwork. This is probably the best masterwork you can get on this thing. I don't care about reload speed. I don't care about range. A Stability Masterwork makes this thing that much better. You guys, seriously... If you guys don't have stability masterwork on this thing, I don't even recommend using it. Unless, of course, you're playing on PC where you don't need that extra stability. But my console players, make sure you're using that stability. It is absolutely crucial to have that extra stability if you're going to be landing your shots. Next up, I threw a counterbalance mod on there just to play it safe with the little recoil pattern. It does have like kind of an upward like to the right recoil pattern. It's a little weird. But it's easily controllable with all the stability that we have on this thing. This thing's an absolute beast. Now that we've talked about all the perks, let me give you my final verdict on the weapon. Overall, this weapon is amazing. It's one of the best SMGs I've used in the game. I haven't had this much fun with an SMG since the Mita Multi-Tool and Mita Mini-Tool combo. Um, I think my console players, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Now, even though the auto rifle meta is going strong right now, this weapon does stand its ground. You can shred people with the gnawing hunger. If they have the gnawing hunger and you go up against them with this SMG, you, as long as you're landing your shots and you don't miss anything, you're going to shred them at least eight times out of ten. This thing is amazing. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it as much as I do. It's a lot of fun to play with. It's aggressive. There's no slowing down with this weapon. You're getting right up on them and you're just putting them in it. You're just putting them in their place. You're going to have a lot of fun with this weapon like I did. Now, I will say the recoil pattern may take a little getting used to. But other than that, there's really nothing wrong with this weapon. The mag is absolutely perfect. You got a ton of ammo in this thing. You have enough ammo to just shred one or two people. Hit that reload. If you're running Hunter, make sure you're running that Marksman Dodge. So when you reload, you get your ammo back. And if you're running Top Tree Tether, hell, you're invisible too. So you can get away from the enemy. If you're in a tight situation, come back, absolutely melt them. Reload again and keep going. This weapon is so badass. I absolutely love it. And I would give this solid weapon probably a 9.5 out of 10. I haven't had this much fun at all. Like seriously guys, this weapon is a great weapon. Highly recommend getting your Umbo Ingrams and just farming this thing out. Anyway guys, that's my verdict on the weapon. I'm going to leave some little Crucible gameplay up in the background so you guys can see how well this thing performs. I will see you guys at the end of the video for a special little message.
All right, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And do not miss a weapon review video. We got regular reviews coming. Old, new, you name it, we got it. We're going to do it. And uh, if you guys are looking for a place to call home on Xbox, Look no further than the new and growing clan, Banshee 44 is chosen. Always looking for that god roll. We got you, so are we. Looking to make just an absolute badass of yourself in the Crucible or in the raids? So are we. If you're a new player or an old player, just looking for a home or looking for some help. We got you. Need that raid done? We got you. Got some quests you need to get done before Beyond Light? We got you, man. Just shoot us a message. We got you. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Make sure you guys click that clan link. It's going to be in my link tree. Click the clan. Request to join. We'll pull you in. Shoot us a message. And uh, we'll get you set up, man. We'll introduce you to the clan. We're always down to help folks out. And, uh, yeah. If you guys, like I said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Invader Nim, and I'll see you in the next one.